waiting for you long enough. So you shun me. You shut yourself up and grieve alone. And rather you'd upbraided me with vehemence. You're passionate, I expected a scene. I was prepared for the hot rain of tears. But I wanted them on my breast. I was wrong. You've not wept at all. Well, Jane? Not a word of reproach. Nothing bitter. Nothing poignant. Oh, Jane. I never meant to wound you thus. Do you forgive me? You know I'm a scoundrel, Jane. Yes, sir. Then tell me so roundly and sharply. I'm tired and sick. I need some water. <laughs> Taste the wine again. He won't kiss the husband of Bertha Mason. No. You say nothing. You're thinking how to act. I know you. I'm on my guard. I do not wish to act against you. You will say this man nearly made me his mistress. I must be ice and rock to him. All is changed. I must change too. There's only one way. Adele must have a new governess. Oh, Adele will go to school. I've arranged that already. And you, Jane. You shall not stay in this accursed place, this stone hell with its imprisoned fiend. How can you speak so of her? She cannot help being mad. Oh, Jane, my little darling. So I will call you, for so you are. You misjudge me. It's not because she's mad that I hate her. Look, I have a place to retire to. A secure retreat. Tomorrow we shall go. We? We. Together. You are to accompany me, Jane. Oh, now for the hitch in Jane's character. Now for vexation, exasperation, endless trouble. Jane, will you hear reason? Sit down and we'll listen. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not angry, my darling. I only love you too well. Your little face was so steely. It drove me mad. I couldn't endure it. Hush now. Don't love me, then. It was only my rank, my station that you valued. Now that you think me disqualified to be your husband, you shrink back like I was a toad or ape. I do love you more than ever. But this must be the last time I say it. The last time? Mr. Rochester, I must leave you. Leave? No, and for the rest of my life. <laughs> 
Jane, you shall be my wife. Do not call me married. You shall be Mrs. Rochester. Oh, I will keep to you only so long as you and I live. Oh, Jane, why'd you shake your head? Sir, your wife is still living. Do not call me married. Oh, Jane, let me explain, please. Please, Jane, Jane. Sit down. 